Hello and welcome to this video on how to create a subtitles file using otter.ai. Subtitles are probably the most important accessibility feature of a video. They don't only help people who are deaf or hearing impaired, but anybody who wants to watch the video material with the sound off. It's quite easy to obtain a transcript of a video, especially if you've written a script in advance, but using this as a subtitles file doesn't necessarily work easily. A transcript doesn't contain the time codes necessary to align the written text of the subtitles with the spoken words in the video. Therefore, it can be quite fiddly to have to do this manually. A specialised subtitles file, or .srt format file, does contain these necessary time codes, so it makes subtitling a lot easier. You can upload an SRT file to either YouTube or a virtual learning environment such as Brightspace. One method of producing such an SRT file from a pre-recorded video is to use otter.ai, which is a website. I've given the web address there and I've also included it in the links below. If you just want a transcript, you can produce that using the free version of Otter, but to produce a proper subtitles file, you'll need to pay for the premium plan. At the moment, in autumn 2020, that costs just under five US dollars per month. Assuming you've already recorded your video, this is how you generate the .srt subtitles file from that video using Otter. This is the home page of the Otter website. The first thing you need to do is import your video before it can make your SRT file from the video. You can do this in one of two ways. You can either use the import button on the home page, or you can go into my conversations and there's an import audio or video option there as well. So I'm going to go in, browse files, and navigate to the video that I want to provide an SRT file for. It will then import the file and you'll see the progress. We can now just press done. It'll take a little while to process. Once it's finished processing, you can click on the conversation and then you get the text. It's quite possible that you want to go through and edit certain things. If you're using technical terms, it doesn't necessarily always recognize them. Also capitalizations you might want to add. So if you want to do that, you just press the edit button and then you can change text as you wish. When you've edited it to your satisfaction, you just press done. To save this as an SRT file, we need to go to the three dots button at the top and go to export text. If the SRT format isn't already selected, then make sure that is selected. You can change the file name if you want to. I usually have add line breaks automatically switched on. Then press continue and it will export as a file into your downloads folder, which you can then save to your computer. Thanks for watching and look out for more content coming soon on the Lecturer's eLearning Toolkit channel.